Hey viewers, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, another Warhammer video. I am showing you the uh, the Primaris Captain that comes in the Command Edition uh, box set and how I painted him up. So this guy is probably the most ornate model in the in the box. So he took a while to paint to get it all right. So I'm gonna zoom in here and I'll show you what's going on. So this guy's got a lot, a lot going on. So uh, the base colors were all McCrag blue. Um, you know, all of the gold is Retributor armor, right? You got all the black bits for inside his armor panels, right? In the in the shoulders and the elbows. That's all Abaddon black. His glowy eyes are Mephiston red. Um, those are the big bits. His sword, right? Uh, lead belcher for the blade. And then Mornfang brown for the handle on the blade, as well as his belt. Uh... Pretty much every silver uh, for his belt, every silver bit on here is lead belcher. So like the belt buckle, the the end on his belt there, right? It's all the chains, that kind of detail, all that's lead belcher. Um, on his sword, we'll start there. I tried to do a glowy effect of a power sword. You can see there with the light blue kind of lightning. Let's see if this thing will get to focus. A little lightning uh, kind of charge. It didn't come out very well, but it was my first attempt, so I figured why not. For that, what I did was I did um, Thousand Suns Blue, uh, and I kept just kind of layered that and layered that on. Um, and then I think even what I did was I used Thousand Suns Blue, but on the tips where it's a little lighter, I took White Scar and did the initial outline with that. Uh, and then I went back over it with, with a light coat of Thousand Suns Blue to kind of give a almost a, a glaze kind of effect and it, yeah tone wise it, it worked out but certainly not shape I just I'm not good at freehanding at all but it was worth a try um continuing on the base coat uh, let me see if there's anything noteworthy back here you can see um the his tabard on cloth was is all um oh was it Recarth flesh uh for the for all that as well as all of the uh you know, the purity seals here, those are all Rekarth flesh. Um, the wax seals on those, on those scrolls, that was all corn red. I decided to make that a little darker, so that was all corn red. On the shield here, uh, the shield, the the white on the shield is just Corax white. Um, and then what I decided to do here was I did black all on the inside of the skeleton first as a shade back there. And then I painted over it with um, Wraith Bone uh, to get the bone color on the skeleton. And then uh, some of the details, like his eyes, I tried to make them glow uh, per the reference art. I used Thousand Suns Blue for that. And then for the hourglass here, it's a Retribune armor for the gold, white on the bottom and the top. I took some Thousand Suns Blue and just mixed a little white in there just to kind of get a little little lighter. And it it... Color-wise, it worked, but the, the work is kind of sloppy. This is my first attempt at really trying to get in here. And, um, yeah, and, and and do something this detailed. Um, all these little metal straps, you can see, and they're holding the bones to the shield. All that is warp lock bronze uh, to do all that. And then this guy has a lot of little decals on it, like all these little black skulls and the ultramarine U there. All those are little tiny decals, you know. The, the words here, all that is little tiny decals um, for his tilting plate. Try to make, you know, mimic the box art, right? So just paint half of it Corex white on the bottom and then assembled the decals that came with the uh, the box to, to try to approximate uh, all the symbology. And I think it turned out okay. Um, this was also the first model I tried to do edge highlighting on, as you can see, and it's pretty sloppy, but I, like I've said in previous videos, I'm leaving it uh, just as a timeline to see how, you know, here's how good you were, how good have you gotten since, that kind of thing. So we use uh, Calgar Blue for all the blue on the edge highlighting there for the boots and, and just all the blue armor I tried to edge highlight. So that's all Calgar Blue. Sorry. Turn this guy around so you can kind of get a little better angle you know, along the the wrist and the hands and the elbows, all the different armor plates. Um, all that's Calgar blue. Um, oh, well, I'm at a couple other free hands. That yellow stripe going down the pauldron there, that's freehand. That was just Averland Sunset. 
you know, that I painted before applying the decal. Likewise, there's another yellow stripe there on the knee, you can kind of see, uh, before that decal. That one was a little rougher because I had the shield in place, so I, I didn't have good access. I should have painted that beforehand. So all that was freehand. Um, other edge highlighting. So I tried to do all of the gold bits, at least, um, you know, all on the shield and the, uh, the halo there and everything. I tried to do um, a highlight of, uh, I think it's called Auroric Armor. I'll put links in the, in the, in the video description for all this, uh, for what colors I use. But Auroric Armor, the first kind of first level highlight recommended. And then on the sword, I used uh, Iron Breaker. Uh, for another hot to try to highlight the uh, the metal on the sword so learning learning um, all the shading for the model null oil for all the blue and everything and then for the gold bits as well as the uh, the tavern you know the rack on flesh I used agrax earth shade for all that I, as well as for all of the uh, all the par everything parchment right all the purity seals and whatnot all the parchment was shaded with um, agrax earth shade and then the base. Uh, so we've got the uh, the destroyed Necron. Uh, painted him up just with Rune Lord Brass and Lead Belcher like we've done with our other Necrons. Uh, the rocks, I went with um, uh, Rekarth Flesh for the rocks. Same color as the Tabard. But then I did a dry brush of, I think that was Administratum Gray. Or it was a Corax white. I can't remember. But I did a dry brush of a whiter color to kind of ca to try to catch the highlights of the rocks to give it a little bit of texture. And I shaded the whole thing with Agrax Earth Shade, you know, to give it more of a dirty look. So that is it for the captain. That's uh, that's how you paint them, blocking the colors. It took a lot of time, you know, especially trying to get behind the shield and whatnot. There's all kinds of detail there that you can do. You know, with those little, those little gems... You know, behind the shield, those are all Thousand Suns Blue. Um, so I think that's it. That's how I did them. Um, again, with the goal of trying to copy the the box art and the reference art, you know, found on the on the website. Um, at least in color and style. Certainly not quality. Uh, but he's fun to paint. So I hope you all enjoyed this. Thank you all for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.